Hello guys and welcome to All for Hunters. I'm Franco and I'm in Vilnius, Lithuania, where the headquarters of Pulsar, a part of Yukon Group, is located. We're here to do a factory tour to see how their thermal imaging and digital imaging devices are made. We're here also to test the devices on the field even in a shooting range with live fire and we're also here to look at what the new products for the upcoming year are going to be. Uh, of course we're not going to be able to talk much about those products. We, we will see them at the SHOT Show and uh, IWA. So let's start and go inside and see how they actually make the thermal imaging devices for which they are world renowned. Pulsar is undoubtedly the world's leading brand of hunting and sporting electro-optics. Entirely designed, manufactured and assembled in the European Union, developing everything in-house. Yuda Sabisala, Pulsar's chief marketing officer, explained that Pulsar is a company with over 1,000 employees and the Yukon Group, of which Pulsar is part of, operates from 70 countries from all over the world. Liudas also gave us a good overview of the current product lineup and the roadmap for the next couple of years, including a sneak peek into some exciting innovations that are to come soon. It all starts from the sensors. We see here an HD resolution microbolometer made by premium European manufacturer Linred. And also standard aluminum alloy stock and polymers pellets of course, which will be machined and injection molded respectively. I'm visiting the factory in Lithuania. Later on I'm going to visit the one in Latvia. In Vilnius it's mostly assembly. In Dogavpils actual base components are built including metal and plastic parts. The assembly lines we're looking at include the whole Telos series of thermal imaging optics, merger binoculars, kryptons, clip-on optics and thermion rifle scopes. Assembly is an exacting process based on building blocks that are further built into sub-assemblies that are then put together into macro-assemblies and finally built into a complete product. The Vilnius plant is also responsible for main research and development and all software including the device firmware and the popular stream vision and the ballistics apps. At every step of the manufacturing process, each part, subassembly and assembly module is meticulously tested for function and specification compliance, clearing it for further process. The complete optic is then tested for full functionality and performance according to specs. Depending on the model, the complete optic is additionally tested. An example, rifle scopes are tested for impact and shock resistance, simulating recoil, plus climate, vibration, temperature and water resistance, following strict industry standards for certification. In the end, the optic is serialized and placed in the retail box, along with all its accessories, packaged and sent out for shipment. Across different different facilities here, there for assembly lines, a lot of the processes are the same for different devices. Uh, what so the standard that you see here would be the same standard in Latvia. It just might be a different device. In some cases uh, they're the same device. So think. Are there any now that overlap that we assemble here and in Latvia? Uh, thermion. Thermion. So ther thermions are the only ones that are both assembled here and Latvia. In Scotland, those are thermions as well, and I think that's it. Essentially, the good thing is because we keep them essentially in the same process, we can duplicate that. So if we have a higher demand on some specific device that can be, you know, then Latvian facility joins in, Scotland if necessary, etc. Um, what we saw here again is mostly final assembly. What we're going to see later today is going to be manufacturing and kind of putting into components, like bigger parts of components that then are united into one. So here we are uh, 
different products in this facility. It's uh, the whole Telos line, uh, Thermions, Kryptons, Mergers. So when you see it's made in Lithuania, you know, this is the, the, that shop where it was, it was final assembly. Um, software check, that's on the quality. Yes. And also, you know, R&D is next door, so they can actually come in and at any stage check where things are happening and advise. Again on the road, crossing into Latvia. Here working 45 plus people inside. Uh, when we enter, you will see the seven new vertical machines and seven horizontal machines. But these uh, 45 employees also the, for the whole plastic division. This is a little stand for some samples what we'll be producing here on these machines. In the Dogavpils plant, high-precision injection molding of composite technopolymers is carried out to build all the plastic components of Pulsar's devices. So here is also the horizontal machine, uh, you can take a look on the uh, this section and the plastic which goes inside. It got melted in this in this tube. and uh, with the pressure it got injected into the mold. So this is actually what it is coming from. And uh, over here you can see the different molds, it's for each part we have a separate mold. Machine, it's wire cutting machine. Pulsar does uh, in house all CNC and EDM machining of complex parts and has a state of the art machinery for this purpose. So it can cut the, the steel up to 250 millimeters and the precision is up to one micron. Uh, research and development uh, laboratory where the new devices are burning but we no one is working for now, right yeah. now. so yeah. now you will not see something new <laughs> <laughs> so every new product is coming from here are in the engineers the our designers and working here it's, it's made in loft style for better creativity environment <laughs> So these are pick and place machines. Yeah. Here we make it uh, certain boards. So now we have only one line, but uh, this year we have, we have planned to put here a second line. The storage system is uh, very like, modern and efficient. And you can go inside, I believe. Yeah. Okay. And take a look how it works. Okay, this is a place where all the boards are getting flashed with firmware, programmed, and after that checked if uh, everything is okay. So this is a checking, uh, special testing equipment here. At the end of our visit, a surprise. A Thermion thermal imaging rifle scope completely disassembled. It's the first time we see all of the parts that make up one of these devices and impresses for its complexity. On a side table, all of the Pulsar devices currently built in Dogavpils. It turned out that made in Europe is much more than just a description of where something is built. We tested the whole Pulsar range of optronics in a beautiful lodge in the Lithuanian uncontaminated nature with great food, drinks and discussions around the fireplace. Cheers! Cheers in Lithuanian. <laughs> uh, in Latvian, uh, I'm not sure I can remember. In Lithuanian that is two words. One is very short, 
Sveikāt i sveikāt. As night falls and in full darkness, on the edge of a valley and facing the woods, a number of tents were set up loaded with pulsar thermal imaging and multispectral optics. Rifle scopes on testing stocks, clip-on attachments, binoculars, observation scopes, and at every tent, Spulsar Techs showcase the features and performance of each product, including stream vision apps on smartphones and answered every question I had. It was an incredible occasion to compare performances, specs and feature sets from different Pulsar devices and optics, all at the same time and under the same conditions. It was a real eye-opening experience and I have no description, so I will let the images speak for themselves. at the Pulsar shooting range. We are going to be testing out the actual new products uh, from Pulsar. We will not be allowed to, to show some of them, but at the same time, we're gonna have a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, you can see behind me, uh, the running bore uh, target. We're gonna shoot it with our thermal imaging. It's gonna be a lot of fun. At the range, we all used Pulsar Electro Optics in a live fire friendly competition. Shooting at a running bore with a Krypton clip on and Jaeger rifle scope. Then a match using a new version of the Thermion 2 thermal imaging rifle scope and a Dijek C50 digital night vision rifle scope on bolt action rifles. And finally, using a 22 rimfire bolt action rifle to shoot from 10 to 100 meters using the ballistic app inside a Talion rifle scope. So guys, this concludes our factory tour at Pulsar in Lithuania. And we finished doing a shooting competition using Pulsar uh, thermal imaging products. All in all, it was really fun and I absolutely look forward uh, into unveiling uh, the products that we saw today and we cannot talk about because we've seen what the roadmap is, but alas, these products are not ready or will not be marketed for a few months still yet, but there are going to be great surprises. So keep following allforhunters.com uh, and any comments, please post them below.